Hey there, everybody. Hey there, everybody. And welcome back to the Reboot Review, colon. It's, it's alphanumeric. alphanumeric. I'm Robin. I'm Katie. We're going to watch some Reboot and talk about some Reboot. And we're going to watch Mouse Trap today. Woohoo! Yeah! Mouse so. Trap. Baby, Baby Mouse, mouse Trap. trap. <laughs> We managed to do it without sounding awkward and like we had planned that. No, we definitely we didn't plan, plan that. that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, any immediate thoughts about Most Trap before we start or should we just kind of jump right in? Let's just do it. Yeah. Do it right now. Yeah, I think what I remember about Most Trap specifically is that this is the episode the where we kind of get to like... See what was going on in mainframe this while they were away, right? Right. So it was kind of... I remember this episode also being slow, but at least being kind of exciting in terms of how it got to fill in. Right, all the gaps. wondering about and right. being like, yeah, what have like Dot and Mouse that everybody been up to? But I do seem to be, and I might be misremembering this, I do seem to recall being frustrated that, spoiler, I don't think they actually like meet up with everyone at the end if i'm remembering this correctly i think that's like the beginning My of format? next episode that they're reunited i, no I don't remember but the reunion, yeah of course was what i was waiting for and right I and i mean like you just get bob back and then like the, you, you want the ball to be rolling yeah exactly we're ready for some classic bob quips and whimsy that's right Mark i like Wolfman. classic bob that's a great name quips and whimsy <laughs> They've upped their game on their graphics, though. I mean, this is yeah, pretty. I'll admit it. Is. It is. Yeah, yeah. And now that we're friends with the web riders, the web poses no threat anymore. <gasps> no, we're it's just beautiful and mysterious. <laughs> Although, did, did Bula really have to be the waiter? You know, would... Does, like, Bula seems to be the hardest person to talk into getting to wait at a table. Like, you would think she would just be like, oh, you know what? Bula. <laughs> Those are her drinks. <laughs> They're not for anyone else. <laughs> I had forgotten about the twins. Oh, yeah. Smash. 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 Foul-headed creatures, aren't they? What a jerk. Yeah, seriously. Who are you to judge, Mr. Christopher? You're a freaking pirate. <laughs> Oh wait, I think donuts. I think Mr. Norton is back. Is that Mr. Norton? Oh yeah, the they red brought hat? him back in the last they did one. Bring, oh, yeah, okay. he was I kind of in the back. That. Yeah. The finest bunch of cutthroat binomes who ever sailed the two seas. It is a little bit strange to see him talking in modem <laughs> speak without the helmet on. <laughs> yeah, we uh, you would assume that it was just the helmet interpreting. Okay, okay I have a bunch. I know. I have a bunch of linguistics background, and I'm just like, how do you actually articulate those sounds? Again, guardian yeah, code. Pretty much, yeah. The sprites who brought us all together. Yeah! I'll drink to that. It only just occurred to me that these are probably twins because it's way easier to copy the same <laughs> asset <laughs> I know. than generate a new one. I wonder what they're drinking and then what he's barfing up. Yeah, I know. Good question. I think about these things. <gasps> What inebriates well, a binomial sprite? What's the bright. matter, lover? For once, Andrea, nothing's the matter. We did it. We found Bob. Well, I don't know, Matrix. Bob There's still yeah. a lot Wait, left. You nothing? need to do. Like, <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you're you're sleeping see. great. You're <laughs> tell me. You're regular. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. I can't. We've been through so much. I've changed. What if he doesn't like what I've become? Well, he was. Is my hero. Come on, let's get back to the party. Two That's a good little line, though. It's a good little yeah. moment to acknowledge it that was... he still has that place and ends those imagination. And he does a really good job of, of giving, delivering those lines with the vulnerability. Yeah, exactly. Just the right Ooh. amount of gravitas. <laughs> <laughs> she wait. She into that <laughs> worm. <laughs> the Briggles all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's funny how they did a good job designing that character with a face that seems sinister when you first see it in a certain context, but kind of like friendly and like cute animal-like when you see it in another right. context. Like that's true. Yeah! All right! <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> I read that as you are a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> also not wrong. <laughs> oh, what? What? Oh my goodness. Even after Bob's back, we're... <laughs> I forgot that line. <laughs> See, at least this guy's jaw vibrates so in a way that looks right. like he's <laughs> making now. those noises. Come on, man. Don't worry, Bob. Crisis over. Like, what the heck, though? I know. The Matrix, I like, seriously. So. I just reacted. I, I, I couldn't stop myself. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, go. I mean, he feels sufficiently oh, bad oh, about it. Like, he has a slumped shoulder. <laughs> it's even sadder when he's this big hulking beast of a sprite. <laughs> I know. I just wanted Bob to like me. <laughs> I do like you. <laughs> Just not when you're like this. <laughs> Go to him. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> That's later. <laughs> Bob. I'm, I'm so sorry. I wanted you to be proud of me. And I blew it. I'm actually really invested in this done? right now. I know. I, I know. I want to see this. Look. You survived the games and brought this crew together and rescued me. I am proud of you, Enzo. I've done well, questionable things. You did what you had to do. We've all changed. <laughs> Just all like grown. that's what I said. Now it's time <laughs> to fight back. Lost guardian and a renegade. Not a key tool between them. And a big job to do, but we'll be okay. The surfer can get us back to mainframe. We'll deal with Megabyte and then Damon together. You ready? Yeah. Please don't shoot any more people, though. <laughs> I mean, just gonna if you don't mind. <laughs> Bob? It's good to see you again. It's good to see you, too, Matrix. Aww. Aww. Let's take a little grin. And Bob acknowledging him as an adult, I guess. By yeah, to yeah, him exactly. Is, yeah. Bob I, always knows what to say. He does. I mean, especially what's well, funny, like original Bob kind of didn't, but yeah, now he's got right. the wisdom of the web. But like, I believe it. Like, I believe that Bob would go through this and kind of, you know. Well, actually, yeah, it's a really good point. Like, Bob was just as much a teenager. He as seems Enzo like was a, like a child, yeah. and they both grew up. Yeah, in yeah. their own way. Sir. Yeah. We've with their own experiences sort of and they know track. they know that both of them would have had rough times getting through it all yeah well it's interesting because I, I i do really love how like the size differential between matrix and and bob and mm. how much bigger matrix is now than his There's hero no and it seems like that would almost be a Guardians. metaphor in some this ways but it's attacks. not like Bob has not become less of a hero now that Enzo's looking at him so, as an adult. So yes. the metaphor does kind of fall apart. And I was just thinking it would have been interesting to sort of pursue that maybe, but it's also just as interesting for Matrix to now explore who he is relative to Bob now that he's grown up. Very good. Wow, look at you. Sorry, that was an awful lot. That was. Or, well, I mean, or the fact, too, that, you know, Enzo wanted to become giant and big and strong and heroic. Yeah. And you don't have to be yeah. giant and big and strong. Yeah, and then be that. Yeah, and in fact, Bob ended up heroic, and Enzo ended up dying and big and strong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> slicing potatoes. Peeling potatoes. Maybe slicing. We yeah, don't I guess, know. yeah, we don't know. Good mood lighting. <laughs> yeah, really. I can see through the shielding. It's getting worse out there. The charges are increasing in frequency and strength. Like rats caught in a trap. Or mice. That's it. This is one of Mouse's traps. She's the only other sprite who knew Mainframe's address. She sealed and protected the location. Mouse. 
We might have stood a chance against the Guardians. But Mouse? I know. This is bad. Very bad. I love Always it because that's super believable. Yeah, yeah it really? is. Yeah. Super believable that she would have been the one to protect them, and that's why they're protected. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know, I always... I've always loved in shows, like, again, going back to a thing I say over and over again about every character kind of knowing every other character and being in this tight little web of interconnected relationships. Yeah. You said web. Web. <laughs> oh, I did say web, didn't I? It wasn't even intentional. But anyway, yeah. Um, I always love the idea that, like, two characters can allude to this off-screen character who we have not seen in Without ages power, and to her skills and her ability and her likely push. behavior no, right and to, like talk about her like they the know her the um itself. when she's not on screen yeah like I, like I just love that in a show when they just refer to other characters who aren't there or haven't been there and it's like yeah it just reminds you of all the interconnectedness that exists in it good ensemble cast yeah that's right and like it makes you feel Steady. like you're in on There's the in group too yeah you know, the it really audience does. Member, who's like mouse. mouse i remember mouse i like her now mouse. yeah i like her so much more now it's oh, so yeah, funny i yeah. never liked her when i was a kid and i love her now yeah yeah you just, you just have to respect her yes good music it My is the classic Saucy Mare music. They're overloading. Well, if they just, they never waste a chance to throw in some good old yeah, computer, computer terminology. language. Even if they have to shoehorn it in. Awesome. Just keels over now. That was it. That was all they had in them. What will happen now? You're just gonna admire this tear That's for a little it. bit. It's a good tear. Yeah. Dead in the web. Back plate burnt out. Energy sales burnt out. Navcom burnt out. The only way to make Who's a Mr. profit after this again? voyage will be to have a fire sale. I feel There's like it's another one of these super versatile. Online. Captain, do you have the ship schematics? Mr. Christopher, the charts! Ah, it's Michael Donovan. He was oh. also Fong, Mike the TV, Cecil, okay, Bob. Al, What's the plan? Lieutenant Chauncey. That's incredible. Well, I, I know, uh, I know. Uh, uh, these character actors, man. They it's just know gift. how to do it. And like, especially since like so often we can pick out... Oh when one of the main characters is playing a secondary character because yes. it's just uh, no i Andre, you can't hide it voices no. for, yeah yeah but sure. then the, you'll have the these character guys are just yeah yeah luck. what's that connector for i can't make it out in the dark hey can someone bring a light over here uh thanks <gasps> what <laughs> Now what? Oh right, these. Pixels. Yes. The ship. Pixels. <laughs> you thought pixels were harmless, but no. <laughs> no, they're the worst. They're actually highly corrosive. The code is there no end to this web madness? It's pretty. Yeah, I know they're just like little dragonflies. Fiery. No, not dragonflies. Fireflies. Oh, I was, I was, I was with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like how they're after them too. I know. Yeah. Oh, still <laughs> slicing taters. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is my job. <laughs> it's no good fighting them in here. We have to stop them before they enter the ship. Well, too late. Right? Yeah, I know. They're already in. <laughs> I like how they're bioluminescent. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The techno-luminescent? I, I want to see more bioluminescent alien or extraterrestrial type characters. Yeah, yeah. I love anything when it's bioluminescent. <laughs> <laughs> bioluminescence makes everything better. On, it's boys. true. Look, he's bioluminescent. <laughs> 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 they're 
There's no power, sir. I, I can't open it. What we need is a little brute force. Stand back. Wasn't that what they just used to get through the first stage of the trap? You think? Yeah. Not broody enough. No. <laughs> we need the ultimate brute. Oh, I should have said, hold on to something. <laughs> Shoot. You opened a door. It's like, okay, How honorable. Great. <laughs> Can we move it along? Like, we appreciate your kind words, but. <laughs> okay, I like the sounds. That's good. Next time I want to pick a fight with you, talk me out of it. <laughs> good luck out there. And look oh, his reflection yourself. on the side of the we door. The it's a cool touch. Yeah. Oh man, so much effort and thought put into this. They just blue light them to death, I guess. I hate that color. <laughs> Again, they don't have to explain it. Yeah, it just no, looks no, good. It works. I believe it. I mean, because these are web writers, presumably they deal with these things on a semi-regular basis. Right. Yeah, so they, exactly. they have a specific tool. You know, you buy special anti-pixel spray at the hardware store. Right, right, exactly. Of course. Did you remember it? Come on. I have to borrow yours, <laughs> man. Sorry. My God, we're driving those blackguards away. Mr. Andrew, damage report. The whip shields took most of the damage, Captain. If the shields fail, we be goners. We've got the engines back online, but I can only give you 10% power. Great job, Andrea. That's more than enough to get us home. Captain, let's get this ship moving. What, what, Enzo, what, 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 signal what, what, a surfer. Stabilize the tear. Aye, aye, sir. I'm surprised at Mouse. This was almost... Don't much. say it. <laughs> I know. That's how you did it. I like that though, because that did kind of feel too easy for a second. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Any any thoughts on Ian James Corlett as Bob now that we're hearing him in more detailed Sorry, context guys. than we did in number seven? I, I, I think it was a good choice because he count. does sound a little older, a little wise. He does. Yeah. yeah. A little grittier. I'm really not against it. No, yeah. I think he's doing a good job. Yeah. It definitely took me getting used to it first. But I agree. once I did, yeah. you know, I was pretty We're sold on it as, as Bob. And yeah, if you're going to change a voice, you might as well do it after a character has been through something and you think that maybe they're going to kind of be it reflects, a different person right, on the other side. Right. Yeah. And he's been degraded, so it makes sense that maybe his voice would have also been affected in that. Like, yeah, it's pretty lucky like timing to have switched him out. Yeah. Like Did he quit or do you know? No, I think I think Michael Benyer, well, I think Michael Benyer got contracts doing other things. I, I think he might have moved to do some, because he did a, a little bit of live action stuff. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, like, not oh really, la di da. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think he was sort of a live action actor by trade. So I think he did like some Captain, bit parts and some action films. Power up the uh, engines and take us yeah. The tear. We can but build to but then, um, I know, I know. I think, I think he sees the part with a lot of affection from what I've sort of seen of. Oh, that's good. Convention. I mean, you're not going to go up in front of a bunch of, in front of, a bunch of fans and be like, I hated what? that. Bob, <laughs> is that what you're and I mean, I think that's why he came back in season four. Because what I love is that they kept Ian James Corlett, but when they flash back to Cadet Bob in season four, it's played by Michael Benier. And I think when he like comes back at the end of... When we get the other Bob, I'm pretty sure that's Michael Benier as well. Told you I got oh, is it? Yeah, yeah Man, I'm almost positive. It's so long. Yeah. When you were younger, I'm asking you to trust me one more time. But why drop the shields? Our shields are made out of dead web creatures. That's why Mouse's traps keep attacking us. I mean, that's actually pretty smart. <laughs> yes. Not if we get through to the net as soon as they're down. But without the surfer, we have no way of forming a portal. I know. I know. It's funny, I don't think Ian James Corlett has the same levity. It's like the same no. capacity for no. levity or light levity or lighthearted fun. But, but he does dramatic Bob very well and very on the nose. Yeah, and, and I, I imagine I, that would be why they would have yeah. picked him. There is no other way. Everyone get back. You're sure? 
Thank you, old friend. Glitch! Download! You know, I think I can actually see the shark that they're jumping over. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, you're not a fan of Glitch Bob. I just feel like that was really the moment. Where it kind of... I mean, maybe I'm wrong, ridiculous. but... I mean... I feel like that was the mm -hmm. moment. Jesus Bob, wasn't that what people called him yeah. when he became... Oh yeah, a little bit, yeah. At least very... In season four, he really... Yes. This really became a Jesus Bob thing. And I'll be, I'll be honest, I don't particularly care for the design of Lich Bob. No, well, that's I, it. Like, I like he him looks better like when he looks like a guy. Yeah. yeah. No one. Yeah, and like this kind of stuff doesn't really feel like Bob. So. No. Superhero Bob. Yeah. Like, if he could go in and out between being Lich Bob and being like regular like guy Like Sailor Bob. Moon with a yeah, full-on trans <laughs> transition you know. scene. And then when he is Glitch Bob, he's suddenly like kind of dramatic and paladin-ish, but then mm. he's just kind of himself when he's not. That'd be cool. Yeah. Which is maybe why, again, season four stuff, getting ahead of ourselves. Mm. At the end of season four, they do specifically transform him back, but at that point, it was it's just too kind of too late. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> too late. I'll be honest, I can't remember what I thought when I saw this going down the first time. But, like, I just, this really did seem like a weird move. Yeah, and kind of, I think I remember it being, like, kind of contrived. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna solve the problem by just making Bob super powerful. Yeah, so magic Bob. So we can Bob. fix it, like, just make him magic, and then he'll solve it. And it didn't really seem to be grounded in anything. Right, yeah, they couldn't, like, usually it's about solving problems or yeah. figuring things out. It's like, oh, no, we'll just make him magic. Magic Bob, here you go. Guardian code combined with key tool magic. I come from the net. Oh, good. I yeah. search through <laughs> systems, peoples, I mean, it was nice to get this little line back. This I liked place. this, I think. Yeah. Mainframe. My home. My format... Guardian, to mend and defend. Reboot! Wait, this, so this wasn't even the one with all the flashbacks? <laughs> nope. It takes them a very long time to reunite <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I forget everything I said in the introduction to this. I was totally wrong, just like I was about Bob being at the end of... Um, well, I guess it just shows how little we watched that section. Yeah, Because clearly. it's just like, okay, this is us waiting to find Bob. Yeah, there he is. We, okay, we're done. We do remember everything that happens. We just don't quite remember the parsing of the episodes. Where That was another episode that went by super fast. That one did. Because I was expecting <laughs> something, else. something else to happen. And I was just like, okay, so when does it Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Katie says, anything can happen in the web. So, so nothing, nothing happens, happens in, in the, the web. web. Except for the things that you thought already happened in the previous episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, dear. yeah, that things, was that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's still like, okay, it was really important to have like the Bob Enzo moment where they're now kind of meeting each other as adults. Yeah. And I think that that this episode really existed for that reason because you needed something to settle them back into this new relationship right and be like okay bob's back but he can't just suddenly like be back and everything's totally back to normal right right you know and i like the whole it, yeah it makes total sense that most would have put some way to like cover their tracks and you yeah know, so that yeah. was that was all cool and that was that was neat to have it wasn't it wasn't necessarily an uninteresting episode. It was just yet another episode where the big thing happens right at the end and you want to get on with the next thing. Right. And, and it, it just, and, and, and so you just get this long drawn out episode, the thing you were waiting for, and then another long drawn out episode yeah. followed by the thing you were waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like, like you said, the whole like Bob and Enzo relationship would have been a really good, like, and like, I don't even mind that he pulled his gun, but it's yeah. just like, you got bumped by a door. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, they could have had so Although, I guess many that, things happen to make him be a quick that's, draw. That's true. That's true. That might have... that Because, I mean, I can understand that Enzo's been through enough that he would be very easily set off. Yeah. But and that, it like, seems that's like you could have done something, yeah, a little more. Like, someone could have, you know... 
one of the web writers, he could have had reason to not trust that web writer. He might yeah. have thought there was a traitor yeah. in their midst. There he could have been an external force that came at yeah. them and he didn't think or something. And, yeah. And like, and then Bob didn't really get a chance to react to what he did anyway. Yeah. So. Not in the immediate. Yeah. Yeah. It was just kind of Andrea giving him the eye. Right. Yeah, like maybe you should talk to him and him agreeing to it. And yeah. Cause you would think Bob would intervene. Yeah, or knowing what we know about Yeah, Bob, or at least you know? giving like a little some sort of reaction to show that Enzo like obviously he he knew that he'd done something wrong quickly and I was yeah. a good reaction, but it just I don't, like if they could if it was th that was the point of the episode, make it the point of the episode. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, do more with that. Or or intertwine I mean, it with the mouse trap thing. Yeah. Like but I don't know. I'm I'm not a writer, so <laughs> you do it. What do we know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you're, I don't hate this episode. Actually, I like this one more than some of the previous ones. For yeah, sure. it yeah, was neat. It feels like a little more happens in it, but um, but yeah, aside no, from the whole shark jumping, I mean, <laughs> the, the come on, guys. Thing. I mean, <laughs> at the time, I don't know that we would have thought it was like that bad, but I think it's just by the time you get to season four now and you realize know. how they how far they go with Jesus Bob, basically, yeah, being that figure that yeah feels like maybe kind of a disappointment that starts in that moment but mm -hmm. but anyway um any last thoughts about uh mousetrap before we continue on no 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 more yeah i'm I feel just like excited for quite like a lot. it's like good job web you're done you're over case closed let's get on with it i want to be a mainframe again i know that's all we want yeah i'm pretty sure at the end of that episode i felt a little bit like I just come on, come want on, come to on. be there. We found Bob. Can't we just get back to my frame? Yeah, a little bit. So anyway, we will be doing that next time, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Here on the Reboot Review. Until then, I'm Robin. And I'm Katie. Stay frosty. Um, Reboot. <laughs>